King of Beers presents USA's Tuesday Night Fights. And first up, heavyweights, uh, just over that cruiserweight uh, uh, tag. It is scheduled for eight rounds. Mike the Bounty Hunter against Francois Bota. And you are looking at the undefeated South African. 11 of his 18 fights have come here in the United States, including the last uh, six. Uh, most of his fights is a heavyweight, but he too uh, wants to get to that cruiserweight uh, division. That's where he feels he would have uh, his best bet. But tonight he steps up against a veteran and Mike the Bounty Hunter, who has won 10 in a row, including wins over Oliver McCall and Pinklin Thomas. Dwight Cowie and Ozzy Ocasio, very elusive, frustrating, and intelligent fighter who puts his mouth where his fist is. He says Boda is gone tonight in four. Where did you come up with the fourth round? Why four? Why four? Well, four, the fourth round seemed to be my favorite round to get rid of him. And the reason I say the fourth round, I'll go out, I'll fill him out in the first round. The second round, I'll step it up on him to see how he liked the fire. In the third round, it's going to be all me. In the fourth round, make a short evening of it. And then see you wouldn't want to be here. He says that he will take you out in the fourth round. In the fourth round? Well, I thought he's going to try in the first or, first or second round, he's going to try to take me out. But I don't see him taking me out. Uh, if it's going to be a decision, I'll probably get the decision because uh, he's been like out of action, I think he fought February, and I've been quite busy, so I think ring-wise I'm gonna be ahead of him. So what do you think of his prediction of no. taking you out in four? Well, I think we'll have to see about that, if he can really keep his word that what he says he's gonna do. And Francois Boda says that Mike Hunter has good skills, he's very fast, but he just does not have the power to put me down. Let's match these two fighters up on the Castrol tail of the tape. The advantage is for Hunter, and it is in the reach, and you know he will use every inch of it. Uh, both of these uh, fighters around 200. They want to campaign as cruiserweights, and right now they're working their way down. Hunter's last fight against David Jaco, 218 pounds. We are in Texas, and these are the rules that the fighters will abide by. Three knockdown rule is in effect. No standing eight count. You can be saved by the bell only in the final round. And the scoring, the 10-point must scoring system. We're ready to go. And for the introductions, here's our ring announcer, Jaime Chavez. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to the El Paso County Coliseum. This next bout is scheduled for eight rounds in the heavyweight division. Your referee from Dallas is Jerry McKenzie. The judges scoring this bout are Dr. John Wilkinson, Al McChesney, and Rocky Burke. Introducing the principals, first in the red corner, wearing the black trunks, weighing in at 200 pounds, with a professional record of 18 wins, no defeats, seven knockouts, from Tyler, Texas, here is Francois Bota. His opponent, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the red trunks, weighing at 198 pounds, with a professional record of 19 wins, two defeats, two draws, with eight knockouts from Greenville, South Carolina. Here is Mike, the Bounty Hunter. Eight rounds, heavyweights. Go, Mike. All right, gentlemen, you already had your instructions in the dressing room. Does this corner have any questions? Do you have any questions? Does this corner have any questions? Touch gloves, gonna be a good clean bout. Here we go. That could have been the first headbutt before the fight officially started. They're putting their heads together and thinking. Mike the Bounty Hunter has been around 33 years of age, and he has uh, now moved back or is planning to move back into the cruiserweight uh, class. This is all a psych out from a very wise veteran in the ring. He is ranked number two by the IBF as a cruiserweight. The champ is Al Cole. Number one ranked Orland Norris is uh, going over to fight Bobby Chez for the WBA title. So that will vault uh, Mike the Bounty Hunter into that number one spot. And right now it is Boda swinging wildly 
Remember, Hunter said he'll use this first round as a feeling out process. Hunter usually uh, tries to take the biggest weapon away from his opponent. Right now he's got to find out what that is for Mike, uh, for Francois Boda. He knew absolutely nothing about Boda coming into this match. He said that he was going to feel him out early and then try to take him out. He said, whatever he has, I will take it away. Boda from Pretoria, South uh, Africa. Now he's fighting out of Tyler, Texas. 18-0, seven knockouts. He's had most of his fights, though, in the United States. 16 of them as a heavyweight. Swing and a miss, and there he finds out how tough Mike the Bounty Hunter is to find. And the Hunter has been using a psych job here in this opening round and in that, inter that introduction, trying to psych out Boda. Reminds you a little bit about of, of uh, Jimmy Young. You know, Casper the Ghost, now you see him, now you don't. Boda has never faced the likes of this. The biggest fight uh, for Boda probably was his uh, victory over uh, Cesar Macatini, another South African native, 10 round decision. But uh, he really hasn't been in against a tough competition, especially here in the United States. We said in that Macatini fight, he just kept his jab in his opponent's face and beat him. He said that's what he's going to try to do in this fight. Just win one round at a time. Doing a good job here in this opening round, is Boda. Boda Strong has a good overhand right, and you've seen that miss on several occasions. And again, it is uh, Bounty playing with Boda, trying to lure him away, distracting him with the right, wants him to look up. Now, who would fall for that? Al, <laughs> well, you've been but, trying to use that on me for four years now. <laughs> I said, champ, if you knew me when you were fighting, I could have worked on you with some of these uh, great antics. And there is Hunter. Hunter just trying to completely psych out Boda. Trying to hunt him. But Boda has a big heart, good chin. Fearless fighter, that's uh, what he says uh, coming into this one. And what he wants to do is to try to keep the jab, he said, but we haven't seen uh, much of the jab. He knows that Hunter is going to move in on him and move out. And what Boda wants to try to do is catch Hunter when he moves in. We will pause for a word from your local cable systems. And this turning into a colorful little fight. And there goes Boda. There's nothing better than fresh baked pie at JoJo's. Unless, of course, it's free fresh baked light. Announcing IBM's newest personal computers. They're packed with features, and they're now at a low Best Buy price. Get this IBM 486 SX package for just $18.98 at Best Buy. It has a 129 meg hard drive, 4 megs memory, VGA color monitor, 24 pin printer, software, and accessories, all for just $18.98. And this week, at no payments or interest for six months on all IBM computers. They're new, they're IBM, and they're at Best Buy. Here's a good look at experience. What Hunter wanted to do was get Boda coming into him, and he got him reaching, got him lunging, and then he nailed him with a good and, left hook. And it turns out to be a flash knockdown. Boda gets up and uh, easily survives the round. But with all this psych job, all these annex that Hunter is doing now, he's trying to get Francois Boda out of his game. He's trying to show that he's more in control, he's trying to get Boda to lean toward him, to lunge with his punches. That's just what he did at the end of that first round. Well, he's completely uh, tied up and confused, uh, the young South African. 23-year-old Boda gives away uh, 10 years of experience to Hunter. Hunter keeps his distance. Will Hunter take these uh, antics into a world championship fight against Alfred Cole? No, every fight is diff different, and the thing that I like about Mike Hunter is that he has some kind of plan in every fight. There was a good right hand by Bota, and Hunter staggered just momentarily. But Mike comes in with a plan, with a definite fight plan. He's wanting to do something. Another good right hand. The right hand from Bota is doing some damage. Mike Hunter said his ambition is to be the heavyweight champion of the world. And he says the only chance he thinks he has to get to Holyfield is to become the cruiserweight champion of the world. Defended several times, make a name for himself. Certainly with his antics, if he continues to win, uh, would be very popular. Uh, otherwise, he'd have to get in line 
behind all the heavyweights there. Plus, you know, heavyweight contenders, quite frankly, they won't fight him. They don't want to be in the ring with this. But that's the way Evander Holyfield did it. He went ahead and won the Cruiserweight exactly. Championship of the World. Then he started challenging the heavyweight champion. So Mike the Bounty Hunter, at the age of 33, who holds victories over Pinklin Thomas and Oliver McCall and Ozzy Ocasio, Dwight Cowie, when he was fighting as a, a heavyweight, has made up his mind that the only way there is to fight as a cruiserweight, wasting his time as a heavy, and uh, might as well get a, a, a crown or try to get one, and he'll do it as a cruiserweight. But right now, he is having problems in the second round with the overhand right from Bota. There it is again. See how Mike Hunter tries to pull away from that one right hand? He can do that. Oh, left Bota, Bota sneaks in with the left. Bota is showing, uh, as advertised, a lot of heart. Trying to uh, wipe away the annex of Hunter. Hunter comes off his last fight in February at 218 pounds, about 18 pounds heavier than he is tonight. Took out David Jaco in three rounds. Jaco, of course, a journeyman, has been around, steps in the ring with everybody, and goes out. But the significant thing there is Bert Cooper, we saw last week, was taken the distance by David Jaco. And Hunter put him away in a hurry. Coming down, 10 seconds left in round number two. There's Hunter wanting for Bota to come in again so he can play catch him. That's what we'll do it. All pro quarterback Dan Marino. When the game is over and the pain starts, I want two things for my pain relieving rub fast relief and no odor. So I use Sports Cream, a strong pain relieving rub that doesn't make me smell like a medicine chest. I just massage in Sports Cream for fast odor free relief. Cream or lotion, Sports Cream sure gets my vote for fast relief and no odor. One of these engines was filled with Castro Syntec, a new synthetic oil. The rest with conventional oils. They were then drained and started without oil to prove a point. You see Syntec's unique molecular structure bonds to engine parts. Lab tests show it leaves a layer of protection far stronger than conventional oil. And if Syntec protects this well now, imagine if you leave it in. Castrol Syntec protects in ways other oils can't. Round number three. What do we have in store for the next three minutes? Mike the Bounty Hunter. Very spontaneous, one of the best ad libbers in the ring. And uh, right now, he moves into round three against Francois Boda. Remember, Hunter said it was round four that he would uh, take out the South African. This is scheduled for eight rounds, which is very unusual. I hear you talk about uh, Boda, who's undefeated. He's had 18 fights under his belt. Uh, Hunter, 33-year-old veteran. He's in line for a world championship fight. Why is this eight rounds? It was originally scheduled for 10. It was changed to eight just moments before the fight. And at this point, we have yet to receive an explanation. There's a fight that should not be eight rounds. Well, it could have been because of Bodo's management wanting to get the shorter distance. You know, Hunter is a, is a good 10, 12 round fighter. Two mixing it up right here. Third round, good action. And that is just what Francois wants to do. He's landing with that overhand right because look at the left hand of Mike Hunter down by his waist. Boda has uh, only seven knockouts, though, in his uh, 18 fights. You know, we saw uh, Hunter two years ago when he uh, danced around Pinklin Thomas and essentially shut him out uh, in a 10-round victory. But in that fight, Hunter looked old. He was only 207 pounds, but he was he looked heavy, he looked over the hill, and here he is now, a couple of years later. He had spent a year in Australia getting away from a few of the fights there, but he looks younger, he's full of fire, even tighter, shade under 200 pounds. He has revitalized uh, his career. Keep seeing, you see him put that, he keeps putting that right hand way up in the air to try to get Bowden will look at that right hand. Also, you, you try to give your opponent a different angle for, for catching your punch. You put a punch up there by way above his head and you bring it down on him, and that's a different angle. Sneak one in. Hunter, 19-2-2. Two two. His first defeat 
It was an eight-round decision loss to Levi Phillips. That was when he had actor James Conn. Hunter had James Conn in his corner. In November 87, Hunter lost to Andre Smith, and that's the last time he's uh, tasted defeat. He's won 10 in a row since that time. An Andre Smith fight, he decided to get his head together and get back into boxing. During that fight, he did not want to win. Mentally, he was just outside. Inside the final 10 seconds to go in the third round. Bounty Hunter doing a 360. WBLZ Detroit just hired a new DJ. One problem. You're white. I'm a soul man. How you doing? This is Red Fox. And this guy knows his Motown. What's Ice Cube's real name? O'Shea Jackson. We in trouble. It's Amen's Anna Maria Horsford. Barney Miller's Ron Glass. He used to be a member of the Five Tops. You mean the Four Tops? Sure. Now. And introducing Roger Cabler. Hey, Rhythm and Blues premieres this week on NBC. For centuries, they've waited. Lovers and assassins, visionaries and forgers, tyrants and kings. And now the dream of the mystics is coming true. Believe in the mind of the master. Believe in a magica. Read Clive Barker's Imagica, now available at bookstores everywhere. Mike Hunter is a terribly awkward fighter to face. Look how off balance he is. He's pulling away from your punches. He's rolling around. He's moving backwards. It's tough to catch him with a real clean power punch. Bodo's having trouble with that now. Yeah, this is the round that uh, Mike Hunter says that he will catch uh, Bodo with that power punch. Bodo was down in the closing seconds of the first round. But then he came back in the second round to land some good overhand rights that had Hunter wobbling. Matter of fact, in the corner of Hunter, after the last round, uh, Kevin Henry warning him uh, not to take uh, such chances. You've got Boda, who's swinging wildly, could connect. Watch the head, says referee Jerry McKenzie. Francois Boda hails from South Africa. Some of other cruisers and heavyweights uh, have come uh, developed there. Jerry Coetzee, Pierre Coetzer, Pierre Cruz, Isaac Macatini, Johnny Deploy, uh, Francois Bota now brings his undefeated record. He says he's ready to find out. He needs a test, and that's what uh, Mike Hunter presents to him. He says even if he doesn't win, go the distance, have a learning experience, and that's for sure. He's getting a learning experience to him. Well, I've seen Bota fight before, earlier in his career, and he has grown as a fighter. More mature inside the ropes, taking his time more, he's thinking about his game plan. He started boxing when he was seven years old. Claims that in South Africa he had a record in the amateurs of 215 with only four losses. 215 wins. Several titles in South Africa amateur boxing. Even the Transvaal. Heavyweight championship for Francois Bota. When he beat Macatini, his biggest win, that was a year ago. He weighed in at 211. He's down to 200 on the nose. 16 of his 18 fights has been as a heavyweight, but he says he's trying to trim down, get down to 195. He thinks uh, that's where he would have his greatest success. And there's Hunter trying to wave around that right hand. Watch when he tries to pull. He has a trick of pulling away from the right hand to take the power out of it. When you do that, you take your eyes off your opponent. Now what you do if you're Boda, maybe you want to feint that, right, that left jab and then come over the overhand right. Very frustrating man to fight is uh, Mike the Bounty Hunter, an orthodox style. He sparred for three years with Mike Tyson. When he was asked how hard does Tyson punch, he answered, I don't know. Now that's elusive in the ring. Fresh. 
pure and natural. The only beer with the genuine taste of the king of beers, Budweiser. The temperature never drops below Xerox. That's very important to remember at a time like this, when your car has been sitting idle, when it's very dark and very deserted and very cold. Oh, thank heavens, you did remember Xerox antifreeze. The temperature never drops below Xerox. And now, Xerox can help you condition and protect your complete cooling system with Xerox Super Sealer, Super Cleaner, Super Flush, and Super Protector. Get the water for me. Get the water. Why the hell? Mike is a hard man to face, but here's one of the reasons why. Look, with all that movement and everything, you can sometimes lace your opponent. Referee's not going to let him get away with it. Jerry McKenzie, right on top of the action, says, hey, stop that. Hunter does not come through with his prediction. We have moved past the fourth round. In the round he said he was going to stop Boda. And uh, again, the Hunter getting it from his corner, Kevin Henry, saying, hey, this guy has no business to be in the ring with you. Start putting some of those punches together. So we may see as uh, here in the opening seconds a little less clowning, a little more movement now and getting to business is Mike the Bounty Hunter. Although he does, doesn't go by the name of Mike. He just says, just call me Bounty. Hunter, 33 years of age. Splits his time between Greenville, South Carolina and Las Vegas. Now, Bota is following around Hunter, but if he could be flipping out a little jab, even if it's not landing, it's keeping Hunter busy. Hunter, right here, can control with that left jab. He's real fast with it, and he brings it up. He whips it up. <laughs> trying to catch your opponent underneath the nose, underneath the chin. That's smart. Al Albert along with the champ, Sean O'Grady, ringside in El Paso. We're mountain time here, 7 o'clock start, kind of an early start, reflected as you can see in the crowd. Either that, uh, Sean, or I think uh, fans are stuck fighting their way through the turnstiles. Big fight card here tonight. Uh, heavyweights, Hunter here against Boda. Well, they, uh, these two essentially campaigned as cruisers. And then our main event, Alex Garcia against Mike the Giant White. Now Mike the Bounty, Bounty Hunter fights a little bit like a turnstile. You don't know where he's going to be. He's moving. He's all over the place. He's... It's almost like you put these two fighters in a blender when he's there. Right? Inside a minute to go in round five. Remember again, this is an eight round fight. When you see fights reduced in rounds, I mean, sometimes going to tell you that there may be an injury to a fighter. Uh, they may not want to go the distance. Well, I have heard rumors that Mike Hunter has, has problems with his ribs. His rib cage is. Uh, Sore. You know, when you break a rib, it takes forever to heal. You're constantly getting hit on it. You're constantly breathing. It takes a long time to, for that rib cage to heal. Ten seconds to go in the fifth round, and we will pause for a word from your local cable system. Yes, local. In Fort Worth, a new pickup helped the Dixons turn weekend projects into profits. In Tyler, we helped the Mitchells put down roots in their neighborhood. And in Wichita Falls, a hatchback allowed Deborah Carver's son to start college with more than just new towels. Nations Bank loan specialists have helped people all across Texas with car loans, loan refinancing, and loans for home improvements. Come see how Nations Bank can give you the power to make a difference in your life. Get on board the train to Six Flags. I'm Red Stegall. On September 19th and 20th and 26th and 27th, we're turning Six Flags into an old-time craft village. Over 200 of my friends will be demonstrating pioneer skills and creating one-of-a-kind gifts. We'll have down-home entertainment for the whole family. Stop by Food Line and pick up a coupon. You'll get 10 bucks off. It'll be a shopping adventure you'll never forget. It only what do you do if you can't El Punto or El Kiko? El Paso. Compliments of Karnak the Magnificent. That's where we are tonight. El Paso, Texas. Al Albert along with the champ, Sean O'Grady.
And we move into round number six in the red trunks. 33-year-old Mike the Bounty Hunter must win this fight and uh, could be thrust into the Cruiserweight Championship of the World against IBF uh, champ Al Cole. Francois Bota, the 23-year-old out of South Africa in the black trunks, taking his first step up, bringing in his undefeated mark of 18-0. Well, if Hunter doesn't win, he may El Paso on a title yeah. fight. There is a warning for the heads. Two of the heads coming together. Well, you wonder how many warnings does uh, Hunter have to get for different uh, uh, distractions in this fight before a point is taken away. You know, Bota threw two punches at the same time. The referee was on one side of, of the fight and didn't see both both hands. So like Francois, punches. butter punches. <laughs> Francois trying to give back some of those dirty tactics. You know, sometimes the referee's not going to take points. Some, sometimes you have to take matters into your own hands. You have to foul your opponent back so he'll quit fouling you. The advantage Bota thinks he has against Hunter tonight is the fact that this is the sixth fight in the last four months for a very active uh, Bota. As far as Hunter is concerned, his last fight was back in February when he stopped uh, David Jaco in three rounds. Before that, he had been off for about a year. So Hunter has had only one fight, so fight three rounds going back to December of 1990. And you see the ring rust on Hunter. He's not landing his punches. He's not as crisp as he was even when he fought Pinklin Thomas. And I tell you, Joe Costello and the his trainers down in uh, Texas, in Tyler, Texas, has, have done a great job with Francois Bota. Bota has really grown since I saw him earlier in his career. He's more patient. He's got more poise inside the ropes. That's a slip. Even, even with a takedown. Bota now works the jab. Bota has gone eight rounds or more on only three occasions, so I don't think any arguments. This one being an eight. And uh, I tell you, Mike the Bounty Hunter uses all the resources uh, once he is in the ring. And feels that uh, perhaps uh, that uh, gives him the advantage. Not uh, known as a big puncher, he's only eight knockouts in 19 fights. Confused Bota earlier, put him down in the first round, but here we are now on our way to round number seven. Mike Hunter is all over the place. Not only do you have to watch his hands, you also have to watch his feet. Watch this, right on the top of the foot, down goes Hunter. He is unorthodox. He turns southpaw sometimes, he turns back to the right hand and stands, he tries to wave that right hand to confuse his opponent. Sometimes he'll lace, sometimes he'll pull behind the head, and sometimes wrap on the side of the head. He knows all the tricks in the book. Mike the Bounty Hunter, start, start, Hunter started fighting at the age of 13, and he has seen it all. Oh, and a kiss by Mike the Bounty Hunter. That's a good way to make your opponent mad at you. What he's trying to do is psychologically get Boda out of his game plan. Make him run after him. In the opening round when he put Boda down to the canvas. He developed his uh, amateur career behind bars. Uh, undefeated in 44 amateur fights uh, for Hunter. And then uh, he turned pro in a blaze of glory. He scored a four-round decision over former national amateur champ Warren Thompson. That was in December of 85. And then was put in often with fighters with uh, much more experience. But uh, perhaps that is uh, how he gained his uh, style. Style of survival in the ring. First fight up right here. Mike Hunter against Francois Boda coming up tonight in our main event. Top 10 heavyweight Alex Garcia goes up against six foot 10 Mike the Giant White. Interesting matchup in our main event at USA's Tuesday Night Fights. Hunter earlier in his career got up off the floor to come back and win an eight round decision over another amateur standout Avery Rawls who at that time was being touted as a, a big prospect. Surprised again when he boxed uh, James Pritchard, then a young and on the rise fighter, boxed him to a draw. Said he got out of the crowd to box James Pritchard in Atlantic City and 
Pritchard was originally supposed to fight Reggie Caring. Reggie Caring did not pass the physical, so they said, hey, Mike, you want the fight? Mike said, yeah, I want to fight Pritchard. 30 minutes later, he was boxing in the ring with Mike with James Pritchard. And fought him to a draw. And at that time, you know, Pritchard, one of the hot young uh, comers. Oh, yeah, and it was uh, kind of a funny story because he just miraculously, Mike, took his shoes and his, and his uh, boxing trunks with him. He went into the ring without a robe, but you don't, you don't need a robe, really. Mike Tyson showed us that. So we're coming down to the final seconds. Seventh round. They have taken a break in this round. When all the old-time professionals tell their fighters, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna rest, do it in that round before the last. And they both did. So the eighth and final round uh, coming up. And next week, a big night for Tuesday Night Fights, the WBA Light Heavyweight Championship as we go to Bismarck, North Dakota, the backyard of Virgil Hill. He gets a chance to reclaim his old title. And he goes up against former middleweight champion of the world, Frank Tate. And Darren Van Horn also on the card. So next week, three former world champions be will be uh, on USA's Tuesday Night Fights. Here's a look at that kiss from Hunter trying again to psych out Bota. Yep. So the kiss oh. or a little bit of a nibble on the low. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I'll touch that. That's that's the way a hundred does it, I guess. Well, now I think we've seen it all. Well, in the ring. This is the eighth and final round. Boda was down in the first. A flash knocked down in the closing seconds. Quickly to his feet. Between rounds, Kevin Henry in the corner of Mike Hunter telling his man, it's very close, you gotta go out there and you gotta stay focused, you gotta put some combinations together and try to win these run round by round. Well, for all the clowning of uh, Mike Hunter, Francois Ooh. Boda could have the last laugh. Well, I, I do have this fight scored very close. Whoever wins this round could win the fight. And certainly it's Hunter putting more on the line. Boda says, hey, even if I lose this one, I've stepped up, I have an experience, I'm young, so what if I'm 18 and one? For Hunter, he loses this one, he loses a title shot. A very dangerous fight. And it's not as if Francois Boda has overwhelmed uh, Hunter in this fight. And now Hunter coming on, he wants to make sure he takes this last round. If it is indeed close, Hunter now pouring it on, and Boda looks tired, looks exhausted here in the eighth. And slugging it away is Hunter. Big shots, big scoring opportunities here for Mike Hunter in the final round. We're halfway through. That's why Boda just falling on Hunter. Folded. Falling in, trying to smother the punches. This is what experience will do for a fighter. Look now how Hunter is winding up with these shots. Oh, good right hand by Bota. Hunter may also be taking the chances here in this fight because he looks at Bota's record of 18 wins, but only seven by knockout. And, and when you think of the other 11 that got away, Bota really has not faced top-notch competition and unable to put those guys away. Early rounds, I think he felt what Boda has. And Francois looking very winded here in this eighth round. The hands have come down, a lot more tying up, looking for that final bell. I think Francois Bota very happy that this is a yes. round or not a ten. Because uh, you look at Boda here, and he would have had uh, great difficulty, I think, surviving a ninth and tenth round. He is right now being held up by Hunter. 15 seconds, and that's it. One knockdown in this fight, boated down in the first, but only for a few seconds. And Hunter, I think, feels he did enough in this round. We'll let the uh, time tick away. Hunter said he'd take him out in four. Boda raises his hand, knows he didn't do that, knows he went the distance, and knows this one goes to the cards. 
from El Paso, Texas. We will come back for the decision. Mike Hunter and Francois Boda complete eight rounds. Another Meineke profile of the smart and thrifty. There they are. They're not millionaires. They're not celebrities. But they're flying high, jet setting off on an exotic excursion. Did they win a game show vacation, the Port of Ayada? Oh, we're a lot smarter than that. Oh, no, no, we keep a Christmas club. <laughs> and yeah. we didn't pay a lot for a month. El Paso County Coliseum, West Texas. The scene for tonight's USA's Tuesday night fights. Al Albert along with the champ ringside. We are waiting for the decision. And a uh, close match. This uh, could possibly decide it, going back to the closing seconds of the first round. Well, at the end of that first round, Bota running in, gets clocked with the left hook. Down he goes, only down for a couple of seconds, popped right back up, but that could be it. It could be it, but uh, right now they are taking their time and yep. getting the cards delivered, and that always uh, means some possible trouble possible split decision but right now we are ready for the decision so we will go to our ring announcer Jaime Chavez. Ladies and gentlemen let's give these uh, boxers a big El Paso applause. We have a majority decision. Judge Burke scores it even at 77-77, Judge Wilkinson scores it 77-76, and Judge McChesney scores it 76-75. The winner from Tyler, Texas, Francois Bolta. Oh my, Francois Bolta, even though he was down, gets the last laugh. How about that? He knocks off Mike the Bounty Hunter, and probably uh, he doesn't even want to hear about it. He's just been knocked out of a world title fight. Well, Boda appeared that he wanted to win the fight. He kept pressure on. He kept moving forward. Those right hands in the, in the second round was the turning point of this fight back over to his favor. Ever since those right hands, all of a sudden, Mike the Bounty Hunter did not fight as hard and as much as he did in the opening round. How did, how did, how did you see it? I, I didn't see uh, Boda doing enough to win this fight. I had it scored very close, but I had it scored 4-3-1 for Bota. All right, well, it is uh, Francois Bota, the biggest night in his career, and he is very happy now that this was 